This is 2021 KCSE Chemistry Paper 2. Question number 1. Part A. Table 1 gives the property properties of two compounds A and B. So we have our table 1 here. Compound A, we are told it is white, uh, crystalline, and efflorescent. Uh, compound B, we are told it is white, uh, crystalline, and liquescent. Uh, state and explain the observation made when each compound is left exposed in air. Uh, so we have compound A and compound B. So looking at the properties of compound A, we are told it is efflorescent. Efflorescent means when they are left in the air, they will lose their water of crystallization. Uh, that means uh, the observation will be it will form a powder. Uh, reason uh, uh, it will lose it will lose uh, water of crystallization water of crystallization when it is left exposed to the air uh, part B we are told it is white, crystalline, and uh, deliquescent. Uh, the word deliquescent, it means uh, this, uh, that property, the compound uh, will absorb water vapor from the atmosphere. And therefore, uh, this means that since this, the, one of the properties is deliquescent, uh, it will absorb, it will absorb, the, it will absorb uh, water vapor from the air or from the atmosphere. So we can say a solution is formed uh, due to the fact uh, that uh, it absorbs water. Or we can say uh, it dissolves. Uh, or we can say colorless liquid. So if you answer any, if you state any of that, you should be able to get a mark. Uh, we can say the reason why a solution will be formed is that uh, it absorbs uh, water vapor. From the air or atmosphere. So that is how you answer that question and you get uh, four marks. So let's, uh, let's get to the part B of the question. Uh, part B of question number one, we are told an experiment to determine the formula of hydrated magnesium sulfate. A sample was heated in a crucible until a constant mass was obtained. Uh, the results are shown in table two. So we have our table two. We have mass of crucible, which is 25.62 grams. Mass of crucible plus solid before heating, we have 28.08 grams. Mass of crucible uh, solid after heating is 26.82. Uh, using the formula, using the information in table two, determine the formula for the hydrated salt. Uh, we have a relative uh formula mass of magnesium is 24 sulfur is 32 oxygen is 16 hydrogen is 1 and we get three marks so to get the formula of the hydrated salt we will use the information in table 2 to be able to do that we start by getting mass of hydrated salt the salt that was heated so to get that we subtract the mass of crucible plus solid before heating you minus the mass of crucible so we say mass of hydrated salt so you say it is equals to 28.08 grams minus 25.62 grams so this will give you uh, it means the mass of the hydrated salt is 22.46 uh, grams. Then we get the mass of anhydrous salt. 
uh, that is a sort that remain after heating. So we call it uh, mass of anhydrous. salt anhydrous salt it is equals to uh, the mass of crucible plus solid after heating you subtract from uh, the, 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 the you subtract the mass of the crucible so you say it is uh, uh, this will give you 26.82 you minus the the mass of the crucible which is 25.62 and that should give you uh, 1.20 so that is the mass of the hydra salt or the salt that remains after heating we can get the mass of water mass of water uh, roast mass of water is equals to we have the so the mass of salt before heating the mass of salt after heating so it is 2.46 minus 1.20 and you'll be able to get the mass of water is 1.26 grams uh, so with that information we can be able to get the we can be able to get the formula of the hydrated salt we get uh, relative formula mass RFM relative formula mass uh, of uh, the salt that is magnesium sulfate O4 is equals to uh, we have magnesium is 24 uh, we add uh, sulfur is 32 we add 4 oxygen and 1 oxygen is 16 so that will give you 64 and this should give you uh, when you add that you get it is equals to 120 uh, then we have a relative molecular mass of water relative molecular mass of water it is equals to uh, 2 plus 16 and that should give you 18 uh, so we can now say we can now say that uh, uh, we can use a table here we have a uh, we have a uh, we have a uh, we have a compound and uh, we have calculations here so what we say is uh, or we can say this we have the x is a product uh, we have um, the, the the compound is a uh, magnesium sulfate and we have uh, water h2o so with that we can say we we have the mass we have calculated the mass the mass of uh, the salt we got it is one point uh, two zero one point that is the salt we have calculated here the mass is 120 uh, 1.2 uh, that is uh, we got 1 point that is uh, the, that is 1.20 that is this one uh, then we have for water we got it is 1.26 uh, we got 1.26 uh, with that we can divide uh, that uh, and we have uh, this is uh, we divide by uh, the relative molecular mass we have got it is 120 and the relative molecular mass of water we have uh, or we have uh, 18 so this will give us 0 0.01 and this will give us 0 0.07 when you compute so we say mole ratio you divide this by 0 0.01 we divide by 0 0.01 and the mole ratio we get it is 1 and 7 1 and 7 and therefore we will be able to to get 
uh, that uh, the formula of the hydrated salt formula of uh, a, the salt that is MgSO4 uh, magnesium uh, sulfate it will be uh, magnesium sulfate and uh, we have uh, seven uh, molecules of water so like that so by doing that you get three marks when you get to this point uh, you get a half you get a half here you get a half here a half here and finally you get the answer so that's how you work out that and you get three marks per se of the question we are told figure one shows analysis of an alloy containing two metals so we have an alloy here uh, step one uh, acid is added hydrochloric acid uh, after addition of uh, the hydrochloric acid we have uh, on one branch we have a uh, brown residue and the other one we have colorless filtrate the, the brown residue can give us a clue of the color can give us a clue of which metal is contained there or which metal is uh, give us that kind of a color uh, then the other one we add hydro uh, sodium hydroxide uh, we get colorless solution uh, we get uh, we add ammonia to the same colorless filtrate we get a uh, colorless solution so Part one, give the name of another product formed in step one. Step one is where we add hydrochloric acid to, uh, to the metal, that is the alloy. Uh, acid reacts with the metals to produce gas. The gas that will be produced here is uh, hydrogen. So we have hydrogen gas because of uh, hydrochloric acid. Uh, Roman number two, write the formula of the complex ion present in the colorless solution obtained. Uh, so we have uh, the colorless here. Because when you add sodium chlor uh, chloride, uh, sodium hydroxide, you get colorless solution. When you add ammonia, you get colorless solution. The only ion that behaves like that is a zinc ion. The zinc ion uh then it means that uh, the formula the complex formula will be zinc hydroxide so ion so that is a zinc uh, hydroxide ions so paloma number three identify the metals in the alloy so one of the metals is zinc zinc is one of the metal or you can say zn and the other metal uh the only metal that has a brown color is copper so the other metal is copper or you can say uh cu so it means the alloy was made up of zinc and copper uh, that's how you answer that question and you should be able to get the four marks